everybody welcome back to amex's room today we have an, another unboxing but if you guys know me i'm a big fighting game fan and if you guys really really know me you guys know i'm a big guilty gear fan so that's why today's unboxing is on the m rage bike and bomber jacket so like this all right shall we i'm very hyped for this mainly because when it comes to guilty gear uh biking has always been one of my mains if, even before she got the big booba i was back when she got the, when she was a flat booba but not gonna lie this was slightly over my price range when it comes to getting like jackets because normally i get like the cheap walmart ones but this one was i believe 120 130 after shipping it was like almost 150 for it so this is this is, in my opinion, like a collector's item. And if you guys are wondering why that shelf right there is very empty, I'm going to be putting the box in the background to show how this looks. Now, since I did mention box to show how it looks, look at how beautiful the box is. It's like a nice red where you have the bike and art, which I should, it should say who it's, it's really, it's just, it's, it's twilliated. Who, it should say who drew it. And on the back, it does say who drew it, so I will put it on the back. You have the side profile. The box, it arrived at a bit of a crease. Kind of sad about that, but, I mean, not much. It has this nice red grid pattern on it, on all the sides. And then you have the back of it, where it does say who illustrated it. How, why did I say it perfectly that time, but not the before? Anyway. And it looks like the illustrator is called, is just, it's just Uppy? Uppy, uppy. I don't know. Sorry for mispronouncing that. Do you have a QR code? And then you do have the website. It is from m.rage.com. And they are they did announce a another collaboration with um one of my favorite VTuber groups, V Show Um uh, what was it? Um I believe it's Melody. So it is nice, but this is a bomber jacket. This set came with four different jackets you could pick out of. Technically, three, one hoodie, because it had it based off of four characters. You have Nagaruki with a simple hoodie. You had, um, I keep forgetting her name. I know, Eno. You have Eno with a windbreaker, which is basically a jacket, and then you have the premium edition being biking and bridget with the bomber jackets so let's actually get started shall we we're gonna very carefully open it up this way so you guys can see it something fell out you have the bike i believe it's supposed to be like a flight tag it's on the same both sides i saw that it, it was on pictures of the with the jacket i didn't think it was gonna be included because some companies they put like some of their accessories and like oh this accessory not included i guess it does include it but you can buy it separately so that is nice that it was included they have the actual jacket <laughs> look at that this is the front there is a back art which is the art of biking but you have the nice moon from i believe her ultimate so that is nice. It is a white one. So probably I would only recommend wearing this. If, in my opinion, uh, if you don't want to get it dirty, either don't wear it or you can wear it. But make sure you're not going to any place with dirt or eat any food in it. Basically, don't be a slob when you're wearing this. You need a pr it's going to be pristine. You can't be a pinche cochino, you know. Looks good right there in my pan. I do like how that looks. I can put this on my Christmas tree. <laughs> so here it is. It does mention like the website it was from. I I swear I need to do like the most makeup tutorial stuff ever. There you go. That's the front, and then you have the back, which does tell you this is an official licensed product of Arc System Works. Get a stand up so I can show you guys how the jacket looks. But here's one side of the jacket this is the front side you guys will mainly be seeing let me put the chair in the background but here is one side of the jacket you have the moon and look at how many pockets just in the front side now this arm it doesn't have jackets but this one you have one pocket it does this jacket doesn't have any jackets this jacket does not have any 
pockets. I should say that. Let me also tilt the light up a bit. There we go. Now, this is pretty weird, I will say. I will need to work on the lighting for the face area, but I don't care. This has, so far, like, I'm counting four pockets. Four pockets just in the front, and I do believe there's more of it inside. So, it is cool. Do have a nice close-up of the moon that does appear in her ultimate. I don't remember the name of it. It will probably be on the screen. Kind of weird because I am biking. I'm a big biking main, but I don't remember the name of them. But, oh wait, no, this one does, wait, does this one have a set? No, this one doesn't have a pocket. This one, this side doesn't have a pocket. Okay, I'm being very smart. Let's look at the other side. There we go. It says, Biken, Unfaltrate, Awaken, Samurai. And then you do have, I believe that says M-Rage. Yeah, the M-Rage. No reveal on the back yet. We're not going to reveal that yet. With this side also saying M-Rage, but does have a nice pocket you guys could sneak anything probably some candy into the five nights at freddy's movie there the back of it this is the back of the jacket obviously there is no pocket on the back because the artwork carries it it's this nice beautiful artwork of biken which is nice it looks like she is doing her i won't say the tether grab it's not the tether grab i think the te tether grab uses the bell so this one just like the ranged attack but it is nice. You see some cherry blossoms in there with the bike can. Very nice. I do that. It does say collab edition, which I do like that. This is so nice and clean. But not only that, if you look inside, damn, you got even more pockets. How many pockets are on the inside? Is it just one? Man, they only put one on the inside. It's kind of upsetting. Then you have this ginormous tag stating m dot rage i thought it was m rage now it's m dot rage i need to make sure i say that i'm gonna put this jacket on i was never bought from m dot rage before um uh, i wasn't trusting it and i'm my dumbass thought this was the armhole okay Ooh. okay <laughs> oh it's so, it's so weird just seeing me like I do like how this looks. It feels nice. I do feel like it will get warm. Let me put the... Let me actually, like, zip up the jacket first for you guys. Okay, there we go. So, let's take a nice tour of the jacket. You do have the nice side once again. The pocket right here, I don't know how big it is. It is... It's a pretty small one. You could probably put, like, some pocket change. So, these side ones are kind of small. Like, they literally, they only fit up to this part, so you only get, like, I mean, feel, it looks like it'll be a decent amount. But, like, some other jackets I've worn, they have big pockets. I guess they want you to fit, like, a whole, like, $5 hot and ready pizza from Little Caesars. But they don't. This is quite comfortable. Normally, with how I am being autistic, normally, like, some, like, some types of fabric or materials... I don't like the way they feel on my skin. So, me wearing this, it's I'm actually impressed because it doesn't like it doesn't make that urge like of me needing to take it off. So I do like that. It is nice. I will say I I won't be able to see biking as much because I'll be walking around so only people behind me can see biking. While people in front of me See, the ultimate I hit on almost all my friends whenever I play biking. <laughs> but no, would I recommend this jacket? If you're a Guilty Gear fan, probably. If you mainly want to get it for collector purposes, definitely. But if you want to use this to keep you warm during winter, because I do know it's getting, it's starting to get cold here in Florida. Waking up to like, you know, 60 and sometimes like 50 but I'll probably say go with any of the other ones because you you probably won't want to eat food when you have this on. You won't have to, you know, basically this could easily get dirtied. And I don't know if they've mentioned, I believe it's on the website if this is, you know, if you could, um, I don't know. Because like some, some items you have to wash it a certain way. So I don't know if the website has you washing this one a certain way. And I will say it does... Doesn't make a lot of noise. 
Oh, I almost forgot. We do have the tag. They do recommend you put the tag, I believe, on the promotional pictures. It does show it on here. It does show it here for the, all the promotional ones, which, I mean, it would make sense. But I feel like that, that would look nice. That would look nice having that there. But I'm very happy with this as a bike in Maine. I really love this. I keep forgetting this is then for a pocket. <laughs> now, before that, we still need to check the inside pocket. The inside one. It is another smaller one. I would say it's slightly bigger than the one down here. But slightly. But, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this. I'm, I'm very pleased with this. With this being my first jacket from M. Rage. I'm very pleased with this. Now that is all for today's biking bomber jacket from m.rage.com. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to subscribe because this is Amex's room. I do basically whatever I want, which is mainly unboxings on uh, mainly items I love. And I do believe we will be having the next video be the $100 Guilty Gear mystery box Halloween one. So make sure you do subscribe for that video. Ring the bell so you guys do get notified and then comment and like to help the algorithm so this pushes my videos out a bit more to more people. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.